Tucked between the hills and lakes of Benimtir in Tunisia's northwest, Ahmed Zghal's greenhouses house a unique animal, silkworms. In these troughs, silkworms grow through their whole life cycle, from larva to cocoon. On this second breeding bed, the worms are a little more advanced. They're in the last larval stage. They've already started weaving silk thread to produce silkworm cocoons. Here we see a worm which is beginning to have transparency. We say a worm which is ready to drool, but that means to give silk. The final product? The cocoon. It is woven with the help of little structures placed on the ground to help the worms. They feed on mulberry leaves throughout their life cycles. It will spin 1,500 meters, about one and a half kilometers of thread per cocoon, which gives a very solid material. It's one of the strongest materials in the world. Outside, workers harvest mulberry leaves, the essential source of protein to feed the worms. Ahmed exports part of the silk he produces, but he also creates his own brand of decorative products and silk lampshades from the unprocessed cocoons we saw in the greenhouse. The great thing about this material is that instead of spinning, weaving and requiring an entire industrial chain which is energy intensive and which unfortunately pollutes the environment, we have focused on its purest form, all handmade and which doesn't require any chemicals to produce. At this crafts fair, silk shades attract customers. I'm really surprised with the result. It seems like cotton. It's light, it's beautiful to look at. It's a real discovery. Ahmed is targeting the local and foreign markets and already exhibited his products in Paris.